Hello, this is my review for the Huion Canvas GT220 version 2. Now I've been using this for over a year for things like illustration and animation and figured this would be a good opportunity to give you an in-depth review of how this has been performing for me over that time. So let's start with the unboxing footage from when I received it. It came very well packaged, a box within a box, lots of protection. And there she is. This is the manual. And then you've got this small box at the top. And inside we've got some cables. First we've got this uh, wipey cloth and a nice smudge guard to wear on your hands so you don't get the screen dirty. Couple of cables, I think that's the uh, USB type B. Um, charging cable for the pens. That is a power cable. American or European maybe. Um, that is the power supply and that's the pen holder. And then you got a little Allen key to uh, screw in it for the screw in the base. A banana, don't know why that was in there, that was a bit strange. Okay, moving on and taking the display out of the box, it's nicely wrapped in some foam, lots of nice protection. So you got another power cable there, I think that's UK power cable. Um, that is. HDMI, I don't know, VGA that is to connect it to your computer. This is the stand, which I won't be using because I've got a, a mounting arm, which I'll show you later. Um, so this is the first pen, and you also get a second pen, which is very nice. So you can charge one up, use one, and then swap it when it dies. Okay, and on to the Pierre de Résistance. I think that was a driver CD, which you can also get online. And here's the Butte. Ooh, shiny. And that's got a protective cover on the front. It's a nice size, uh, 21.5 inches, and if we have a look at the ports on the back, you've got uh, your HDMI, you've got your DVI and VGA options, you've also got power cable and USB, so you've got three cables going into it. Um, also you've got your buttons on the bottom, which is like the menu and the power, you've got some speakers on the back, which is nice. And here are all the parts nicely laid out on the floor for you to look at. Moving on! In terms of specs, I am just going to read it off the box here. Um, you've got, it's a 21.5 inch screen, IPS, LCD, it's a 1920 by 1080 resolution. <clears throat> and then the pen, uh, it's got 8,192 levels, 580 LPI resolution. There's some other information for you there. So talking about the pros, um, it's a really nice size. It's a pleasure to use when using it in Photoshop. The pressure sensitivity works really nicely. I haven't had any issues or problems with that. I have used a Wacom Cintiq in the past and it feels pretty much the same. Obviously, um, in terms of value for money, you can't really beat it. 
This is currently costing about $280 US. And in the UK, you're looking at £380. I'm not quite sure why it's a little bit more expensive in the UK, but anyway, regardless, it's way cheaper than if you were to buy a Wacom Cintiq, for example, which is... £870 or $1,200 so you're essentially so it's great value for money it's, it's, it's easy to use it, I haven't had any issues with it any technical issues in terms of build quality the build quality is pretty good maybe the back the plastic feels a little bit cheaper in comparison to a Wacom but you know it does at the same time feel sturdy and strong and let's talk about some of the cons that I've experienced over the year of use they're not too serious but worth mentioning so a small problem is when I power on my computer. I use this Huey on as a third monitor. So when I do turn it on and I put the pen onto the display, the cursor responds on one of my other monitors. So that means I just have to bring up this option box and select the right display that I want to use it for. It's It happens about nine times out of 10. And it's not, it's not a big deal, but it's a slightly frustrating thing to keep having to bring up the options and select the right display every time I turn my computer on. Um, one of the issues I found when I first received it, you can see I've got these two elastic bands on the sides, which don't look very pretty, but there's a reason for that, and that's because the plastic cover, which comes with it, is just held on by this double-sided tape and the, the covering doesn't stay on the screen so as you can see here I've, I've just been holding it on with elastic bands so I might have to get um, another protector but I think they're quite expensive yes yeah, it's, it's not really um, that reliable just using this double-sided tape so it would have been nice if it came with um, an alternative method of holding this on onto place. I mean obviously this is optional but but it does darken the screen ever so slightly. Um, it's not too much of an issue you can see fine with it um, and also it, it's not as crisp as it is off. It's quite hard to see on camera. As I was talking about earlier this isn't really related to the product but um, I've been using this Ergotron mount which works really well if you don't want it on your desk and you haven't got enough desk space and it's it's just really easy to um, screw it in the four holes in the back. One other thing I have noticed with this cover while using it over a year is that you get these air bubbles underneath which are pretty much impossible to get out. I'll turn the screen off and see Sorry, it's a bit dirty because I haven't cleaned it and it's been a year. But um, I don't know if you can see that, but you can see these air bubbles. I've gotten quite used to it, but they, they, they're they really noticeable at first. And you, you just, you can't get rid of them. There's, there's nothing you can do about that, which is slightly frustrating. Um, in terms of the build quality of it, it, it feels pretty solid. Um, it's got a plastic back to it but it, it feels pretty sturdy I haven't had any issues with it breaking so far so let's speak a little bit more about the pens um, the the nice thing I like about the Huey on is that it comes with two pens and these pens are rechargeable so you can use one and have the other recharging it and you'll just be able to swap them out as soon as they're ready to go now here I have the Wacom pen from my old Intuos 5 um, tablet and I just wanted to compare the two so here with this one you've got it's a little bit more of a weightier feel it's got a nice rubberized grip on it and it's just a little bit it's better build quality in comparison with the Huey on pens it's also got a tip on the end for erasing in Photoshop 
Not that I use that, I just press the E key, so that's not too much of an issue for me. Um, but with these, these do feel quite a bit lighter and the plastic feels a little bit cheaper. Um, but you do get two of them, which is nice. The The first time it came in the post, one of the pens wasn't working for me, but Huey On uh, replaced it with no problems, no questions asked, which was nice. Um, so yeah, it's they do the job. They, I haven't had any problems with those so far after using them for a year. Now, with the pen holder, um, it's kind of a similar to what Wacom do, and it's got a weighted bottom for stability when you're putting the pen in. It's also got some spare nibs inside if you twist the bottom off and pull that out. I won't do it now because I've only got one hand available. So in conclusion, I've been using this for over a year now. Am I happy with my purchase? Yes. Do I regret purchasing it? No. Now comparing it to a Wacom Cintiq, for example, um, I use a Wacom Cintiq in work. They're really good build quality, um, there's absolutely no problems with them and they're an absolute pleasure to use. They've got buttons on the side and I think it's an absolutely great product. The Huion display tablet is way better value for money and if you're someone who's looking for a display tablet and the Wacom is too much money as it would be for a lot of people, the Huion display tablet is a perfectly acceptable secondary choice. So there we have it, that is my review for the Huion GT220 version 2 canvas. If you did find this product review helpful, please consider subscribing, liking the video. If you've got any questions about this product, leave them in the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer them. Until next time, goodbye! Um...